Hello all, this is Yogesh from TechEdit Automation. The main purpose of making this video is to for the people who are having a dream of setting up their smart home systems in home assistant interface. So today in this video, so I'm having a touch switch from the brand called JR. That is an Indian brand. So here, the reason why I have chosen JR brand here is, this is one of the brand which supports the integration into home assistant. The reason why we are integrating into home assistant is that we can able to control all the devices in a local manner that is safe too. And also, so uh, who are having the dream of setting up their smart home system, definitely you have to check it out the home assistant interface. There is a reason that why every the people in foreign and everyone is moving towards home assistant application. The because you can integrate different brands into a single application. So uh, whatever the uh, there are a the lot of brands available whatever the brand you buy you can ultimately you can integrate all the brands into a single application that is home assistant that is also too safe so now here we are going to uh, see the steps of integrating how we can integrate jr touch switch into home assistant and also we can able to see we can see how we are uh, taking all the entities in home assistant to apple home kit interface also in the JR touch which we are having a lot of options like icon customization is available that means for example if you are taking in a touch panel if you are having a 10 switches or 12 switches we are having you just imagine that if you don't have an icon it will be very difficult for you to find out uh, if it is a single room that is okay for example if you are having a five rooms and each room you are having a 10 switches means ultimately in a home you are having a 50 number of switches we are having so definitely in each rooms we will be having a different sets of lights fans and the different uh, socket purposes and uh, maybe coal light or uh, hanging lights maybe a lot of uh, uh, different types of lights we may have so at that point of time you just imagine that if you are having a proper icon it will be very easy for you to find out the right devices to turn on at the right time and also here we are having a color that is you can able to change the color from your mobile application that color in the sense uh, the icons we are having an icon right so we, we can set the color for on we can set a separate color for off state we can we can fix up a, a different color so a lot of options are available one more thing in this one we are having a child lock is also available the reason why uh, the child lock is very important is you may know that if you are in a home you are having a child uh, it will maybe keep on uh, turn on and turn off it may be disturbance to us so at the time the child lock is also used another another thing is like uh, when the child lock will be useful is uh, if it is a touch which it is a glass glassy type so it looks very nice at the, uh, and also at the same time for the cleaning purpose you can put the touch switches too in a, a child lock to turn on then if you clean the touch switches without any difficulties that is also an added advantage so like that there are the lot of uh, features available in the GR touch switch so that is the reason why I have taken this touch switch for integrating into home assistant and also this uh, the build quality is also very good so after seeing this tutorial if you are interested to, to buy this touch switches uh, the details are available in the description below you can contact me and get the touch switches then uh, if you are getting the touch switches from me then online support for installing and also for integrating into home assistance will be given for making this tutorial i have taken a small touch of uh, two modular size which can have a uh, four controls so this is the model which I am going to take it for this uh, for the video purpose. So likewise in JR you are having uh, the different uh, sizes we are having. Uh, we are having a touch panels in the sizes of 2 model, 4, 8, 12 model and all the sizes we are having. These uh, we need not to worry that these all the touch switches will be fitted in the normal Indian standard metal boxes. So for example here already the previously I don't have the, here the touch switches. So here I have uh, the normal leg grand normal switches I had. I have just uh, replaced with this uh, 12 modular GR touch switch for, for this purpose. So for this purpose first we have to install smart life application and we have to create an account. So for this we have to give our email id and to get the verification code verification code will be sent to the registered mail id once the code is re received to our mail id we have to enter here to activate the account after that we have to set a password for our account 
once it is done so we have to give those permissions and we have to go to the application once it is done the next process is to add the device so now already the, the touch which is in discover mode so once we open and click add device automatically the device will be discovered just we have to click add after that it will be asking the wi-fi credentials we have to punch it there after that the device will get added into the application also it will be configured to the wi-fi details which we have given previously once the devices are added each each entities will be visible inside it is working properly all on all off is also working properly the next we have to create a the two yard developer account the purpose of this one is using this only we can able to integrate this one into home assistant to working in a local mode so for this purpose we are creating a two yard local account you have to understand that the two yard local account and the, the account which we have created previously in smart life is totally a different once it is done this is also a same procedure we have to follow the procedures to create the the two yard developer account once it is done using those details we can get into login once it is done it will ask for the confirm agreement so once uh, we have given all the permissions we can able to login this is how it looks like for the the two yard developer developer account interface we have to go to cloud first we have to create a cloud project using that only we can able to integrate into home assistant to work locally so for this we have to give a name so like any names we can able to give just it is a name of the project which we are creating inside the to your developer account you just give the same details which we i have given so here we have to select all the services so once it is done we can authorize this so it will take few minutes once it is done our cloud project is created so here we'll have all our secret details will be having those details will be required to integrate this cloud uh, account into home assistant so now inside this cloud account cloud project we have to link our to your application that is smart life app we have to add those to your application here for this it will show you a barcode so from the our mobile phone in smart life app we there will be an option for scanning using that scanner we have to scan the barcode so that our smart life applications will be integrated into or it is just added into the cloud project which we have created here once it is done it will show you the devices or or the what are all the entities which we are having in a smart life applications will be visible here it is also showing online in all the devices the all the devices which we are having in a smart life applications will be visible here so here even you can add to our more smart life into a single project so here as we are having only one device so only one device is available that also we have integrated only one account into this project so this is the place where we can get the, all the the details of our devices so you can copy the device id and if you punch here and if you give okay or verify it will show you the uh, necessary details like local key for getting those devices touch switches into home assistant to work properly we need to have a local key so all those details can be taken from here so it is asking for some steps so we have to proceed it is asking to link our mobile phone with this account that is a mandatory step so that we can do it here so once it is done we can able to get all the details of the devices from the interface
it is a small procedure to link the mobile phone with the application you just follow the same steps to get it done once it is done we can able to extract the local keys of the devices that means the touch switches from this cloud account then we can use these details in home assistant to bring the devices locally to work properly that means all the devices should be in the same network so for that purpose our home assistant and the touch switch should be in the same network the once it is done now again we'll go back to the page using the device id we can able to know all the details we can get all the details this is the local key which is very most important you have to copy down and you have to paste it somewhere it will be required later for each devices for example here i'm i'm having only one touch switch if you are having more than one touch switch so if you are willing to integrate all the touch switches into home assistant then here you have to do you have to copy the the device id and you have to extract the local key for all the devices separately following the same procedure so that there are a lot of informations you can extract here using the device id you can check it to all the details of afa explorer and you can extract all the details necessary details can be extracted from this interface you can go to the device management and get device details status you can go to query details device details and you can get all the necessary details you can go to query properties and you can give the device id so here this is the very important part dp id so that you have to note on down for each every uh, switches will have a dp id using that dp id only we will be creating all the entities in home assistant for the particular touch switch so in home assistant is already installed so here i have already installed uh, all the all the things i have installed hacks also if you don't know how to install home assistant and uh, all the necessary steps there are a the lot of uh, tutorials available in youtube you can just check it there uh, using uh, after installing hacks only from hacks there is nothing but the the community add-ons available place so there you can find the the to your local add-on and you can install into home assistant once it is done you can activate there so these are all the Uh, following steps to activate the to your local in home assistant so client id all the details will be available in the to your developer account from there we have to copy and we have to paste it there so then we can add details and we can give the local key sometimes the local key will not be available at the time we have to punch it here so here as i have integrated the cloud account also so automatically it have taken the local key of the particular device so here we have to select a switch then following the dp ids to get the the devices into home assistant now it is working properly the device is also responding properly so for example lot of options are available i'm just going to add only one four switches on off state and child lock i'm just going to add 
for adding the child lock we have to find out the dp id of the child lock then again we have to come here we have to give the dp id properly so the 121 is the dp id for child lock so there i have taken it as a switch that's why here switch is available so using this child lock is also possible so now all the entities which we have created here is working properly the next step is to integrate this into home kit so that we can use all the devices in in our apple device which will come into home application so that you can use in a apple mobile also we can able to control our jr touch switch from siri also so for that you just follow the procedures which i am doing here we have to go to configuration oya yaml file and we have to enter those lines so what here we are doing is we are just emulating all the entities which we are entering here into home kit device so once we have given once we have copied all the things we have to save this file and we have to give a restart once we check the configuration and we, if we click restart our home assistant server will get restarted we'll wait until it get restarted it is showing us connection lost so now the server is started all the add-ons are starting one by one once it is done home assistant is started successfully you can go to the notification here we'll be having a home kit pairing thing and then we can open the apple iphone so i have created a demo home we can click add accessory just we have to scan the barcode and then you just follow the remaining steps one by one we will the devices will get added into the apple mobile home kit so here if you want to change the names also we can able to change here that's it all the five entities are reflecting in home application of the apple mobile it's working thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful kindly do subscribe share and give your comments in the comment section below and also if you are interested to buy these products you can go to the description you will be having my number you can just whatsapp me and you can get the details thank you